All right, we are back with some news about some things. Things and stuff. The most, stuff most things. notable most things. things. Yes, most of the things. The most notable one coming from Buddy Fight. But first, I just want to get something quickly out of the way. Rumors floating around about a Pokemon plus and minus in before Mega <laughs> Puzzle and Mega Minin. But in all seriousness. <laughs> But all seriousness, at the, this point in time, it's hard to say if it's true or not. They so need to introduce Divide and Multiply E. So anyway, it's strictly a rumor. Um, we might talk about what we would like to see from it if it becomes real. But for now, I don't. I wouldn't take it more than a, with a grain of salt. But uh, th that out of the way. On to our uh, news news. Yeah. Uh, yes. Third trial deck announced because we totally need to know more things before the first stuff, stuff even comes even. out. <laughs> All right. So another Dragon World trial deck. Whoa! Whoa! Um, Wait a minute. Different flavor, but come on. We're gonna go from men dragon to um, actual dragons. And then probably after that, we'll probably see the Dragon Knight in the Hollem set. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, mermaid dragons, dragons with long flowing hair and coconut bras. Yes, that. <laughs> that was the best post. Bermuda <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dragon Wen, yeah. Um, Soul Saver with a bikini. <laughs> anyway. Um, Months. Uh, introducing Katana World and buffing the other three that we already are going to have, which is kind of surprising. You'd think there would be more, but what that says to me, anyway, is that they're going to sort of be holding back on the new stuff so they can all get proper introductions and not just be a mess of cards for who knows how I, fucking long. I agree with I'm that, too. I'm looking at you... Mega Colony. Mega Colony, Nubatama, getting their Dark, shit Dark Irregulars. Nubatama, getting their shit together how many years after the fact? Well, it's only been out for two years, Em, so. Okay. Two no. years after the fact? Fifteen boosters ago? Hey, you'd think that's bad. Nubatama only got stuff now and they're still behind. <laughs> they don't even have a. They're not even going to get a quintet wall. Of course, this probably until next winter for Dungeon World. This is possible. Sad, it is sad. On the other hand, maybe they'll just give that out early. I think it really depends on how long it takes for that character to show up and become important. Because what it says to me is it's going more like how Yu-Gi-Oh! used to go. You introduce a new thing, but then have a lot of things that could boost your older decks. You know, sta like staples or generic cards and stuff. Before it started becoming archetype, the game. The movie. The, uh, <laughs> the sequel. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be like that, which I personally think is a good thing. It's like what he said. We won't have clans that, like that have nothing, especially back in the day when the first set came out. Like you couldn't yeah, even you make. Ten <laughs> clans, but you can only make decks out of four of them. Yeah, you can only make decks out of four of them. <laughs> And <laughs> yeah, like because even then it was really only um, Paladins and Kagiro. <laughs> and then you, from there, you would just make hybrids and stuff because you didn't have a choice. It's like you had nothing you could really do at the time. What did you do? And it didn't really get better until like what? Booster, what, three or four? Yeah, I'd say three or four. So a while. This way, it's like, we don't have to worry about that. We are given right, straight up what, um, I was about to call them clans. I don't know what they're called in Buddy Fight. Subclans. <laughs> world. World, yeah. There we go. It's like, we know, we, don't, we know how many worlds we can potentially see, but we only know anything about, like, three of them. 
And it looks like as of the second set, it's only going to be four. With stuff buffing up the three from the first set. So those three sets will get their stuff to be more refined. While a new set, while a new world is introduced, giving us a new flavor to play with at the same time. It's uh, probably the best way to set those things up. Much better than how Pokemon sets up their packs. <laughs> You're lucky if you even get a card that's playable. <laughs> Filler the pack. It's about the size of it. It's uh, release events soon. So you know, next if you weekend. want to. Yeah, it's next weekend, isn't it? For boot the, for the trial decks. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, next. I think it's next week. Oh, it's 24. I got confused, sorry. Stop confusing me and Elliot. Uh, I forgot that, sneak, that trial decks don't get sneaks. Why would you eat? Okay. Em, shut up. I'm sorry, I went back to hey, school. Hey, it's our first shut up Em for the new year. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and then back in Vanguard land, oh my god, Booster 15, oh, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah, that's right, Booster. Oh my god, I think we should start with the thing that took us all aback. Mega colonies. <laughs> Best break right in the game. <laughs> then I know you're all standing there going, wait, what? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> hear me out on this. Okay. Alright. Okay. The, the manga gets taken care of. Whatever. Then all of your opponent's units are sent to rest if they weren't already. And then during their next stand phase, none of their units can stand. <laughs> this includes their Vanguard. So if they don't have another grade three, oh, well. GG. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. None of the, yeah, it's that specific none of their units part that makes it so good. If it were just none of their rear guards, it's like it would be just a go. Know, what do you expect? But that none of the units, making the Vanguard one of them, it's like. The first, it's like, this is the first... Suck a dick antlion? <laughs> yeah, it's like, why would you even use antlion anymore? It's like, this thing, it's the, I think it's the first thing that makes the Vanguard just not able to do anything. Like, it can't stand, so therefore it can't attack. You don't get your drive check. It's like, it, for, no, it, it forces you to ride over yeah, it. I mean, So I gotta admit, I'm I'm actually impressed. It's like we thought they were gonna get rid of the uh, stun, uh, oh, like we call it stun ability, stun ability. And then nope, take it up to nope. we're just gonna make it. Yeah, it's gonna make the stun ability more useful by making it affect the vanguard too. Um, and then you got all those things. You know, the counterplay oh. is there though, so it's not. It's not broke. Really ridiculous. You can ride a new thing. You can play stand triggers or your still standing abilities. Shit, if your deck does that sort of thing, yeah. and stock up on your move to soul abilities, and, you know. It's like, uh, yeah, you just gotta play tactically, don't throw everything on the field against them, and just expect to beat them down like you used to. Hi, gold paladins. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, now you actually have to try. Aqua Force is kind of boned there, too, I guess. Yeah, well, yeah, they are, yeah. It's like, they don't do much standing without their vanguard. It's already they established got archetype. <laughs> yeah, they did. Doom, because it's 7K on entry. <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> so it's, um, geez. Just keep your back row uh, open, yeah, slap down three. And a crit for basically nothing, like two a special counter blast. You get to stun a thing in the process, I think. So, uh, it's, um, yeah. Almost Mega Call, man. The kids, um, designed card being released as a promo. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't hear about that. Um, it retires all fighters grade one and lower units when it is placed on the Vanguard Circle. So it doesn't really play nice with the break right at all, but it's a pretty good card on its own. Because <coughs> it can also force something to not stand. Um, the guy that gets 
10 k and a crit for two of special counter blasts, can soul blast one to make something that's not resting rest. <laughs> so you can stun it. They got stuff and things, jeez. And then proper K and better beer and whatever the hell else is happening. It's like, I mean, we've seen what their bosses do, and that's pretty much enough. Yeah, it's uh, the point is um, they 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 got their stuff for now, no, and they're going to be, they're gonna be things. It's um, uh, you can't you can't the joke that Mega Colony uh, sucks and doesn't do anything. It's pretty much gonna be gone by the time this set comes out. It's just. Not true anymore. You can no longer keep the mega colonies out. Yep. Because... Hey, for the longest time, we just put up that little glowing uh, lantern that zapped them. No, then all of a sudden, a giant centipede just comes and takes before she, floor. Before she goes on a tangent, <laughs> let's go to the next clan. Yes. Uh, yeah, this set's breaking other ground. Uh, so how about that... Um, Phantom Crossroads? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Burn. <laughs> uh, Revenger, Drag Ruler, Phantoms, Limit Break. Um, you counterblast one and retire two Revenger rear guards. If your opponent has four or less damage, deal one damage to them. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the first card that deals with damage it, directly, right? It supposedly <laughs> deals damage directly to your opponent. Checked, but, you know, it's an easy way to yeah, it's a straight up, they have damage now. And it's got pretty gross synergy when you um, cross ride it because the break rates are just going to bring out like a 17k beater and you can play stands pretty easy because you're burning them to five, setting them up right away. <coughs> and there's a new uh, support couple of new support cards specifically for this kind of um, build. You've got an 8k grade 2 that brings out a grade 1 in its column for free on entry, and then it goes back to the deck at the end of the turn, but it doesn't matter if you're going to be killing it anyway. Yeah, it's like... And the 7k grade 1 that is literally Blaster Javelin, but for a better card. Yeah. <laughs> Discard any grade 3 Shadow Paladin and get Mordred Phantom. It's like, the whole thing is... <laughs> set up to like make yourself win it's like the, one of the most, most consistent things I've heard it all gets itself into the proper order to make things happen and, um, I mean jury's still out on whether or not you know 4-4 four, four on the phantoms is going to be the new thing or if right. you're going to play 2-2 two, two with the four raging forms oh. Testing, but uh, <coughs> I'm sure this card's gonna see a lot of play. Oh, yeah, since I mean, it's the most hands free thing ever. Yeah, I, I would be surprised if no one used it because freaking when break four inflict the damage, it's like, how do you not do that? It lets you play the card with the best art, Waking Angel, the stand trigger. <laughs> That's true, it is really great. Uh, uh, is there anything else in there? You said something about gold new powder. Silver thorns that actually oh, yeah! That's right! Yeah, they're, they're no longer boring. <laughs> uh, 7k trapezius clone that only works with other silver thorns. But it's, uh, it makes those beast tamers legitimate threats. Yeah, also it brings out two instead of just one. No, it brings out one. But, oh, it does? Uh, I thought it was two. Hmm. I think I misread it. It's just other silver thorns. But still, it's really, really good. And Venus Lukier. <laughs> oh, yes. That thing. Uh, kind of last two silver thorns at limit break. Call to... Five cards that are... No, no, no. no. Um, any number of Pale Moon from Soul whose total grades equal six. I swear it was five. We could, do f we could do five grade ones. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty baller. She doesn't get any power bonuses other than being a cross ride, but yeah. it's still pretty nice in the face of all the retires forever. Yeah. <laughs> they got their 
Pegasus clone. Um, whenever a silver thorn comes out of the soul, plus three, great two, white. But they're finally in business. Yes, then yeah. you got a new forerunner. You're probably not going to use it, but uh, it, it instantly gets grades one through three from the top five. Yeah. Needless to say, it makes our resident uh, Pale Moon player there happy. You making it? I'm still on the feds. And that's why people take uh, decks from you. I know. Because you don't decide you're going to build them. <laughs> it's really, for me, it's just the fact that I have to get new perfect cards. Oh, no. Whatever, they're going to be everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I am going to buy a lot of boxes of sets. I was going to say, you're buying the bo sets, boxes anyway. Just build it. Jeez. All right. I, I did write up a deck list, so. All right, there's a, there's a, here's, a, here's a mini how to van good for you people out there. If you want to build a deck, do it. Otherwise, you might lose your chance. Anyway, continue. Wishy-washy. And that's yeah, why I said... Really need the new foreigner, though. You can just use the trapezes to jam the old one in. If you ever need to fix your center lamp or whatever you're fighting. Uh, is that really all we got? New Affleck Force. Right. Right. It's not really. That wasn't in the magazine. That was just last night. <laughs> uh, blue storm archetype. Go. Um. Yay. That I mean. The mysterious new triggers we saw in that episode, I guess. Yeah. It's mean, like a thing. The it's true. It's true. Now uh, the new starter is boss is all hell. If it boosts the vanguard on the uh, on a successful attack and it's the third battle or more, look at the top five for a maelstrom and add it to your hand. <laughs> Eric can go with some a dick now. And so can the card too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, it really makes the full maelstrom reverse setup more. I don't think we ever got a chance to talk about him either, because he's yeah. he was all You know what you're right, we didn't because we didn't do anything about it in the last week. He is week. the weirdest fucking card. It doesn't work like the other reverse units do. He's not yeah. act. It's no, no he's not. And he's it's, it's weird. Okay. Um if it's attacking on the fourth or higher battle, it gains five K and a crit. So guard me. Or die, except it's guard me and die because when his attack misses, you kill a rear guard and draw a card. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> you need to rest and walk a standing uh, guy when he attacks. Yeah, us. but still, it's like this thing is crazy. I mean, it's not as super crazy as it was as of now since we've heard about things that inflict a damage. <laughs> As a skill and make your vanguard not, opponent's vanguard yeah, not able to stand. Has yes. Ashley reverse running around, who is strictly better anyway. Because it doesn't need the gimmicks. Yeah. That's true too. It's like, I mean, when you look at it in a retrospective kind of way, it's not as crazy, but it's still pretty good. But especially if you compare it to the stuff that we have now, it's like really good. And all it took was three sets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was something I don't know. He is getting his K and Bedivere clones, too. That just makes the deck that much more consistent, because now you've got all these solo attackers that are worth a damn. See, my having opinion, to cram in extra grade threes. Is it my opinion that we've gotten our first, like, true form of power creep in this game around this point in time? Because it's now, cause now it's like you can't even really use the older, like, the oldest stuff anymore. And expect to have a good chance to win compared to all this stuff that's coming out. Yeah. It's like, like there's a damage adder, Vanguard can't stand, thing that kills your stuff if you don't let you him hurt you. It's like, and these all these things are eleven, are 11 Ks that are hitting for thirteen. In before ban all reverse. <laughs> all reverse. <laughs> <Because plot reasons. laughs> Feet reverse, uh, Link Joker clan becomes banned. Because <laughs> that's what it needed to do. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like so. It's like it's harder and harder to expect. It, you know, basic 10k. It's like not even 10k's that get plus 5k at limit break or things like that, but just regular 10k's that don't have any actual power to keep up with this. It's like you might be able to argue King of Knights being able to do it because he's 20 by himself, so you can spare a card. But even then, it's like that's a. Well, I walked three, and now you're swinging for. Yeah, it's like I said, even then, that's kind of pushing it. It's like, yeah, this is like the real, like the first true form of power creep that this game has had because the older stuff is just straight up inferior now. No bread, bread, no game? Yeah. This is what they're trying to do. It's what they're, it's what they're trying to force down us. <laughs> like, at first when Break Rides came, it's like they were, they were neat. It wasn't. Necessary, but it was they were fun to use. But now it's like there was a break. Melts into all these super boss monsters, and the combos are just stupid. So, I mean, it's like you have to use them now. Eight attacks. Yeah, no. that's a reverse eight attacks. It's like why wouldn't you do it? Freaking the new Mega Colony thing alone, like I bring it up because it's so good. You right on top. Your Van your opponent's Vanguard can't stand. It's like why would you not do that? Fuck you! I'm riding Minerva. <laughs> <laughs> Not only am I going to stand, I'm going to stand again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, it's, times have changed a lot since, freaking, only since September. It's like, because when we were going to the uh, regional, it's like, when we were talking about cross rides, I mean, break rides, it's, it was, they were like, they're, they're okay. It's like, you know, they're not they're game breaking, but. Sort of yeah. They weren't that strong. Like, it only really helped one clan, and that's because it didn't have anything else. And uh, the Spike Brothers, if you're wondering which one. Yeah. It's, but it's like, you could you could argue not running them. It's like, you wouldn't be seen as crazy. Now, though? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Bushiro's like, no, have a die And then, uh... <laughs> and they just kept going from there. Now you, you'd be... Ashley's crap? No, we're going to make her a whole deck, and you can't stop us. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like now... If you don't use them, you look like you're like a crazy person, or you just or all your credibility goes away because it's like nowadays you need that extra 10k power to even have a chance. It's like. Oh shit! I just realized I did this wrong. Swingy as balls. 8:46. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, you you need you need them now. It's a very different time in only a few months. And all of these Potentially instant cross rides too because they're getting soul charging decks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, freaking, freaking these pale moon. Pale moon and Genesis. <laughs> 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 fucking Genesis, man. Ordain Owl is the most stupid card ever. Yeah. Because you put a regalia on the bottom and give 5k to a regalia. Well, one of the regalia is a standing vanguard. Yeah. I once bumped her like four times in one turn and like GG. You're not blocking that without too perfect. Yeah. <coughs> Freaking A man. This stuff. It's so it's so crazy to just think how fast this game just revs up. Not to mention now that two yeah. paladins have basically two quintet rolls. Oh, yeah. oh freaking because right! New, I uh, forgot about that card. card. Yeah, I I don't know uh, how I did that. Guinevere. She's not a saddle, yeah. but when you guard with her, uh, you can counter blast one, and she gains five k for every gold paladin rear guard you have. If you have a liberator vanguard. Yeah, think about that. Guinevere <laughs> is a gold paladin li uh, liberator support that gets plus five k for each gold paladin on your field. Gold Paladin. Card for one card. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even a Sentinel. Uh, you just it's play not two even. It's like, dude, and see what? 7K you said? Or is it 6K? 6? Okay, good, 6. It's like, so it's 6K, so it's not a bad booster. You can justify, you know, boosting with it because it's just an extra card. But if you need a, a big shield, kind of blast. Well, even when your field is shitty, you should still have 15. It's true, because even at the worst case scenario, I would hope if you're a gold paladin player, you have at least three 
two or three cards on the field. No, it's probably a strictly gold paladin thing because they kind of keep gold paladins better than everybody. Yeah, the, the guy try to get hit, so they give it all the crazy stuff, but then they still lose. Dragon Empire, man, strongest thing in the world. Gradius, let's do it. Something, something born from Chaos Breaker. I don't He's a secret, though. He's a secret. He's a secret. Um, <laughs> apparently, final boss is Alfred. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. It's close to free as you get. <laughs> and she's 9k, so. Wow. <laughs> was that on call or was that act? This is tall. I think it was on call. Yeah. But it's if it were act, like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there was an act skill in this set that made me go Jesus, but I forget what it was. Oh, well, maybe we go for another 20 minutes, we'll figure oh, it out. Uh, maybe it wasn't in this set. It was uh, in 14, the seal dragon guy. Oh, right. Act on a grade two. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Seal Dragons are going to be back in this set, too, which is... I don't even know what they're going to get after all this other flack. Got to get a break ride, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't doubt it. Or they're just going to... I don't know. What they're, what they're going to do is give a, a, a good guy Dauntless cross ride. <laughs> Right, right. Because <laughs> they totally need to. So they make him the seal dragon he was supposed to be. Perfect. <laughs> you are the chosen one. Because he said he was sealing his lore, so maybe he just unseals himself. And I wouldn't doubt if he had that power. Then, <laughs> what happened to Dungaree? Yeah, well. Wasn't one like arrested and the other one just got old? Yeah. How are those similar? But they both got sealed because uh, even though they were good guys. I think one was sleeping and the other was. The um, other one was oh, too wait, powerful. No, the, yeah, the emperor was afraid of him. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I don't like this guy. Throw him away. Ironic because he's pretty sucky. Yeah, I'm still building. And the stuff in it is good. It's not even good, just good. Yeah, and this is the finale set for the Link Joker arc, I guess. Yeah. No Link Joker sequel happening, so you know. Yeah, so it's good. like, yeah, that's weird. It's like, uh, oh, I mean, it, it makes sense because there's no way they could end it in like next, like what, three episodes, four episodes. It's okay, they beat Link Joker. So they're still Link Joker. Yep, so that's why I, I mean. It's probably just them traveling the world fixing the mess. Which I like, it's just, <laughs> it's weird because usually these sort of shows don't continue plot threads from the last season directly. Like, they don't carry over. I it's, mean, Leon's a good guy. <laughs> well. Yeah, there's that, but more than point, I mean, it's not like if season two ended halfway between the Asian cir Asia cir circuit, and then, then, then season after that continued to in Japan, and then they were in Cray for like 30 episodes. <laughs> you know, actual Cray, not freaking the Shadow Realm that they were in. It's a wild ride. It is. The, it's definitely an unexpected one. It's hopefully 
over its weird ass growing pains of nothing happening the third season. Like, because uh, if you guys follow us, you guys know how much we did not like season two. This is a contender. Like, it was, it, it, like, the good parts in season three were good. It's just the bad parts weren't even hilariously bad. They were just so boring. I could not even watch some of the dumb episodes this week. Because... Oh, God. I only skipped... Those too. I only skipped one of them, and that's because it was an Emmy and Shingo episode. Why would I give a crap? I watched that one. The other one I skipped. Like, I've tried You're to a monster. Naoki wanted to be a part of something big. He wanted to be important. He wanted to be somebody, and he <laughs> didn't even give it a second thought until later that night. He felt awful that. about that. Oh, dude, yeah. Like, great acting job there, by the way. Like, yeah, like, that was actually some actual good example of acting. Like, it showed that they actually do know how to act when they try. I need to go back and watch it, because I ended up just watching the Emmy episode. Like, is it actually, because unlike the sub one, like, the English dub actually made you think, you know, he had a reason for being upset. It wasn't that he just wanted to be it better more than anyone. It's, it was more of he shirked off the idea of you know use, having responsibility in a group, which is the exact thing he wanted to do in the first place, and he felt awful that he was disregarding it so readily that he wanted to make up for it that day. It's like it gave him he, he, like that's why I like the dub a lot of times. It actually fixes what the, the Japanese dub doesn't do right. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Let's just roll with it. <laughs> um, and then all the diabetes. Yeah, and then the next episode happened. Making you wait makes me cuter. Shut up, Rekka. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to bitch slap too. Like, I skip, like, I skip most of the episode. It's like, I only went in there for one part. And that's when Naoki uh, was asking Amai how she became so good. That's the only part I was there for. <laughs> <laughs> then I stopped the episode. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to hey, see... I was just asking you a question. Your gang violence isn't solving anything. <laughs> gang <laughs> violence isn't solving anything. Did he get leech seed? <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, it's... um. Did get full seed out of Well, I don't know what to tell you. Passed on all the other eggs. <laughs> Any hoozle... It, uh, actually, I don't even know where I was going anymore, Emily. Sorry. <laughs> Can't yeah. bring her anywhere. Point is, is uh, we're, we're, we're excited to see where season four goes, because season three so far is only watchable. At least the early episodes are only watchable because the dub fixes some problems and makes it interesting to listen to, mostly because the episodes where they aren't actually trying, which are good episodes... The episodes where they're not trying are hilarious. So it's like, you win either way. It's kind of like season two. Nothing makes sense, but they're having fun. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah, the dub, the dub actors just had fun with it in those that season. And they're kind of doing the same here, and that's what makes them more watchable. But sub one, I can't do, say the same. And hopefully the season four is better. The meandering is going to stop. It, it, it has to. There's no way they can be in season four. They're cutting off in the middle of a battle. I mean, the middle of a war. It's like they can't just go back to doing nothing. How could they even do that? Guys, let's just explore trench life for like seven episodes. They go back to the beach. Exactly. Let's go to the malt shop. No, fire. man, you don't, you, you don't understand. Corey versus Misaki. Bikini match. Volleyball. <laughs> Let's do it. Ren's going to have his giant pineapple again. And Morikawa's oh, going to more like more catch some fish. <laughs> Even though Ren has to show up sometime. And Asuka for that matter. They have to show up soon because they're in this fucking set. Or maybe they're going to be in the beginning of the next season. It happened before. I just love that, yeah, now that you mentioned them, all this is going on, they're trying to save the school and stuff, and what are they doing? 
Nothing. We haven't heard sh diddly shit from Matt. Well, that's because Ren's a terrible person. Yes. <laughs> and if you think otherwise, you're crazy. There was two whole episodes, I think there was like six episodes devoted to showing how much of a prick he is to his friends. It's like... Dude, you guys are silly. I'm right. Shut up. <laughs> yep. Even, remember those times when I was always watching you because I thought you could do things, good, do good things in our group? Even when I kicked you out of the group because you lost? Yeah, those are some good times. <laughs> Completely forgot that part. I... It's, he, he's a terrible person. Person, at least he's doing good things now. Yeah, he's, he's trying to make up for his dickery. You know, it's like he hears that there's uh, something up. He rallies troops and tries to fix it. Ren hears something. Here's what's happening. He knows everything. <laughs> knows everything's Hello? happening. He's like, uh, meh, meh. That's what he does. Meh. Suiko, I'm not falling for your ruse. <laughs> I am the ruse master. I am. I have a train to catch. <laughs> Goodbye, wonderful people. I'm sorry I'm a distraction. Yeah, and so I do think I catch it up on the sub. Any other news that has come up? Pokemon? No. Oopa! Oopa! <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I guess it's a quick thing we can mention. We got more details on what the three uh, possibly event legendaries are. Um, I will called it, Volcanion is in Lumio City. Apparently he's the one who caused the blackouts. <laughs> so, yeah, when they're talking about Lava Poop Pokemon, it's possible they're talking about him. He could share a species with, uh, Heatran. I thought it was the Pokemon, though. I don't know, it didn't say on the thing. So I just kind of assume he might be a Lava Thingy. All I <laughs> Whatever. I mean, he just got... Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> it's not hydro pump. It's it's like bigger scald. Yeah, it's the same eighty five accuracy, right? So um right? No. Yeah, it's got ninety accuracy actually. It's and one ten power. It's yep, one ten power, ninety accuracy. And then you got uh Hoopa who's got like a psychic shadow um force. Special attack. Yeah, special dragon. Hyper space See you later, Adam. Love you. Love you, bye. Cool name. Um, the Koopa looks slow as balls. <laughs> it's not going to work yeah. out well for it. Yeah, I mean, he's not the slowest one of the three. That's Dynasty. But it's like, he still pretty, looks pretty slow. Um, he's, he, is, he has an interesting thing that he does, though, according to his lore. Uh, apparently, if he sees something he likes, he takes his butt ring off and throws it into his special realm. <laughs> you can't ask. <laughs> we have come for the golden ass. <laughs> and then you got Dynsey. Dynsey. <laughs> it doesn't even no, it doesn't even say it's related to Carbink and its thing. I know, it's, but it's two fucking <laughs> Carbinks. You look at the oh, stats. Wow. Yeah. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's got I'm certain it's got related to them some way. Some people think it might be a Mavi Fion thing. Like it's readable, but it only gives you more carvings, <laughs> which would be the silliest thing. <laughs> I wish you want some carvings. Well, here you go. If it has a hidden ability, maybe it'd be hidden hidden ability carvings. <laughs> but uh, it um, what the hell did it do? <laughs> oh right, I remember it, it made black holes between its no, it made it, you know it made diamonds between its hands, and it shoots them out. That's what it did. It's, it, it was, was involved involved that. I forgot what specific it did. It, but it said something along. It was rock attack. It was a rock attack. Rock type attack. It um, condensed uh, shards of ro of diamond up and then shot them at the opponent. Uh, speak, it was a. It was a. Was it a special attack? Yeah, special attack. Hundred power. Don't. Oh, and it had a chance of lowering defense. No, it was special. It was a special type because I guess because it forms the diamonds out of thin air. But I remember it was oh. special because it was like special type earthquake is what I was thinking. It's the least interesting one of the three. It's it's very boring. So you can so you'll have to excuse us when we uh, 
don't remember it at all. <laughs> it's got a few things that black hole demons that steal stuff through its rings, and steam cleaners that <laughs> cause blackouts. And Man, it looks like something that should. Steals and magma storm. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I, 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 it has, it has potential to do anything for all we know. Maybe even get sacred fire. It uh, looks. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Ente, so why the fuck why not? not? It looks more sacred than Entei does. I do too. Three god awful weaknesses, but you also have a bunch of really awesome resistances. Fire and ice and water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there was another one, I think. Was, was there another one? I don't, I don't know. But it gets neutral, takes neutral damage from earthquake, so. Not the way, because doesn't ice freeze? Because no, I'm saying it takes neutral from it. It doesn't take super effective damage. No, fire is neutral, water is neutral. Oh, he's water. I keep thinking he's fire ice. <laughs> Damn it! Ice doesn't resist ground in the first place. You sure it doesn't? Uh, it feels like it does. I'm forgetting what its other great resistance was, but. Anyway. You said we're not really good at remembering this rock, this rock paper scissor chart. It's a. Uh, yeah, especially because we've not seen this type before, so. It looks like it's got some pretty good defensive capabilities. Yeah, let's learn Willow Wisp. <laughs> <laughs> That'll show up. <laughs> uh, it's going to be so much fun. It'll be it's easy. not even going to be an Uber either, so it's like, whatever. It's true, so. It'll be fun to play with. Well, uh, probably much more fun than the other two Meanwhile, dudes. Meanwhile, Hoopa with its two quad weeks and no other weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, it's but only no those two. resistances either, so it's like, yeah, have fun with your two immunities, and that's it. <laughs> this is about it. And then Hoopa just sat there, smiling but crying. <laughs> what do I do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Oh. That's Deoxys. <laughs> <laughs> well, Deoxys, um, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's all new for Pokemon. And don't still haven't heard much about Arc Five, so got nothing on that front. <laughs> it's like what a month away, <laughs> and it's still nothing. Well, I it it was Did it? I thought it was February. Well, whatever the case, it's not it's not too far away. So I'm surprised we don't have any other news. Uh, it's you, you. I'm not exactly hyped. Yeah, I'm not exactly super hyped either. Especially after the what two, three years of zeal. <laughs> yeah, it's like we already went over that before. Gotta know when to. Um, Make things happen in your story, otherwise people are liable to stop caring. And it didn't. Something, something, new anime season starting off with all the nothing that it has. <laughs> At least as far as I have seen so far, is all I'm really looking forward to is continuations from last season. Mm. Yeah, that uh, well, covers everything then, because um, it's been quite a slow, uh, well, it's not even been all that slow the uh, last two weeks, for, especially for a holiday. So, yeah. A lot of stuff has been happening. So I guess we should be happy we got what we got, because Jesus, for a holiday season, we got like 40 minutes worth of stuff. That's true. That, that secret little promo card. <laughs> secret. 
Uh, yeah, so we look forward to that. And hopefully, sometime before next year, we'll have PokeBank, and we can hopefully talk oh, about that. <laughs> you have to make me remember, didn't you? Yes, I did. PokeBank is never coming out. Never coming out. <laughs> Uh, well, that's a lesson for people out there. Try not to overload your servers by making one of the most anticipated things you have come out the same day as Christmas. <laughs> Man! They were expecting to handle everything and they couldn't handle Japan. Couldn't even handle... <laughs> they needed more servers, I guess. God. Well, I guess that does about does it for this one, because um, I don't think Pokemon going down is any new, new new news. Just that we still have no notice of when it's going to happen here. We can only hope that we get it soon, because we're running out of free trial time. Because I don't know if they're going to renew that or keep that or whatever. Because they haven't told us anything, as far as um, we can tell from. What we you know sources we have, it's not been changed on their um, thing, not from their Nintendo hotline, not from their. Um, oh, their old sites still have the old info. Yeah, their old sites have like, old info. It's like, and even the on the um, 3ds, even though you can get to its page but not download it, it still says the same stuff. It is nothing new. So hopefully we'll get we can have an update on that. We would have reported on it sooner, but it was during Christmas. It's, I and I, well, had Christmas things to do. Elliot had, I assume, Christmas things to do. Nah, I was just gathering all the Pokemon <laughs> stuff that got leaked into the wilderness because of Japan's one day. <laughs> yep, still no sign of those uh, legendaries, huh? Nah, but I haven't really been trying, so whatever. You are a monster. <laughs> Says, Six IV ditto. <laughs> Freaking people. <laughs> what do they take us for? Probably the kids. <laughs> Not the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> yep, well, that just about does it. Uh, any last words you want to bring up? Nothing? <laughs> Alright. My last words are. Shouldn't doubt Furfro, it will kick your ass if you give it a chance. Because it kicked that Garchomp's ass when it couldn't do more than rough skin damage after a cotton guard. Uh, and took down a <laughs> and took down a mega Gengar in two hits without even taking half its health. Well without taking half the Furfro's health. <laughs> so uh yeah, Furfro is such doge. <laughs> GG no re and uh, TTFN dot dot for now. Shut up, Tigger. <laughs> See you, everybody.